So if you've been following along at home with my uh, latest round of videos, you can see that I've been having a lot of fun with the E-Flight uh, Twin Otter. Uh, this one here, this is my, uh, my friend Steve's uh, Twin Otter. He's been kind enough to let me uh, uh, unbox it, assemble it. Uh, we did the maiden flight. We flown it off, uh, off uh, the water with the floats on it. I've done some high-speed taxi tests. And I have to say, the more and more and more time I spend with the, uh, the Twin Otter, uh, the more I really like the airplane. It flies very well. It's a stable airplane. It looks very scale in the air. It handles floats probably better than any other plane that I've flown off the water. It tracks perfectly straight with the, uh, the twin engine, the counter rotating props uh, that keeps it going straight down the water. Uh, it flies great off grass. And I tell you, it's not a plane that I thought, yeah, that's a, that's a must have for me being a warbird guy, uh, but flying the airplane, spending time around it, uh, taking pictures of it, um, has really kind of changed my mind on it a lot. Um, I really have to take a step back and say, man, this is really a fantastic uh, scale civilian uh, airplane. And like I've, I've mentioned before in the, uh, the previous videos, uh, the worst thing about the, the Twin Otter is this one I have to give back. Um, uh, Steve, I know you're dying to fly this thing some more since I've been, uh, been taking care of it here uh, lately. So um, I'm sad to see it go, but you know what? This isn't going to end my uh, my experience with the uh, the Twin Otter because <laughs> he said I had to get one for myself. So uh, yeah, uh, spent time with uh, with Steve's here flying it, taking pictures of it. It convinced me that yeah, I got to have one of these too. This uh, this plane really impressed me far more than I would have ever imagined. Um, I really, really really enjoy flying it. It's one of those planes that it just seemed to, to click for me in the air. You know, it's like I've flown other planes where you're really nervous on the maiden flight. And while I was nervous that not only is it a, a maiden flight, and it was maiden flight was not even my own airplane. Uh, once I got it into the air, it just felt right. It seemed to fit my flying style. It seemed to fit uh, what I would want an airplane to do. It looks scale in the air. And because of those factors, I said, I got to have one as well. So here it is, welcome to the hangar, my brand new E-Flight uh, Twin Otter. Now, of course, these things look absolutely identical uh, right now, so we're gonna make a couple little tweaks to mine visually, just like I did to the EC-1500, just a couple decals here from Cali Graphics, just to make sure you can kind of tell them apart, but uh, I'm not gonna go through a, a full repaint and uh, detail on this. Um, I actually really like the, uh, the factory color scheme, and as someone pointed out on my Instagram page, hey, that Twin Otter matches your Fiesta, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it really does. So there's another good reason to keep the uh, the factory scheme. And it's actually also the exact same colors of uh, my grandfather's 1966 uh, Cherokee 180C, that uh, dark royal blue, white, and black. So definitely gonna keep this uh, this paint scheme. I've already started a little bit of detail work. I've painted the, uh, the exhaust stacks and I painted some of the uh, control horns here to match. But otherwise, um, not going to really do too much visually to it besides just a couple few decals that kind of separate the two airplanes. But I am, I am really geeked to get both of these in the air, do some formation flying. Uh, it's going to look like a little mini uh, airline company with uh, the two of these things operating uh, together. So unfortunately, our uh, pond at the, uh, the flying field is beginning to dry up. Uh, we didn't get the rain uh, that we were expecting, so this one will probably have to go back on wheels. And this one, of course, will stay on wheels here for just a little bit longer until we fly another uh, suitable flying area for our float planes. It might be a, just a touch too big for my pond. Um, I've got uh, some experience with the airplane and the high-speed taxis with it, and it's questionable whether or not I could get it um, back, on the, back on the water again after flying due to the t trees and the proximity of houses and stuff. But don't worry, we'll find a spot for it. But yeah, welcome to the, uh, the hangar, uh, Twin Otter. And I have to say, if you guys are looking for a uh, for a twin, um, this is definitely one you, you really strongly need to consider, especially if you love scale flying and you love the look of an airplane that's flying scale in the air. That's what really sold me on the aircraft. If you're looking for a float plane as well, you're not gonna find a float plane any better than this. I've flown a number of different planes over the years on floats, and I gotta say, this platform is fantastic. And of course, one of my favorite features is I can throw it in the back of my car, um, fully assembled. I just toss it in and go. Flies in the 2200s that, you know, we all have a bunch of 2200s and that's one thing I love. Uh, it flies with the same battery as pretty much all my airplanes. So yeah, I had to bite the bullet. I had to get a, uh, a Twin Otter as well. And um, I really think you guys should, should uh, give one of these a shot as well. So far, 
Uh, pretty much all the people that I've seen that have uh, flown it, either they've reported back on Facebook or RC groups or uh, even the guys in the club that have flown it. Um, we all love the airplane. So we're definitely going to get some, uh, some new content filmed uh, with both of these together. We're going to get some new pilots to get some, uh, some time on the sticks with this plane as well. And uh, we're going to do some comparing and contrasting between this and the EC-1500. They fly a little differently. They have a different mission. Um, but they're both incredibly fun airplanes. But, you know, if you, if you love twin-engine planes, this thing is a, uh, a must-have. And if you can find an area that you can fly it on floats, it's even better. It, it really amplifies the, uh, the flight experience. So that's it. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I got a Twin Otter. So if you guys got any questions, by all means, just leave your comments below. I'll be more than happy to, uh, to help out. Uh, the BRGT350 uh, Flickr page and Instagram page will have uh, pictures of the, uh, the Twin Otters um, together as well as uh, continual content that we're uh, we producing, of course, on YouTube as well. So that wraps it up for, uh, for welcoming a new plane to the hangar, and that is the E-Flight uh, Twin Otter.